Good morning and welcome to HBTV for the week of May 10th. I'm Josh from Mrs. McCoy's class. And I'm Peyton from Mrs. DeLuca's class. The, the word of the month is courage. Courage means to stand up to someone and to let yourself be seen. Courage starts with showing up and letting ourselves be seen. The weather for this week will be in the mid-60s. Monday with the high of 61 and low is 42. Tuesday, partly cloudy with the highs of 62 and the low 41. Wednesday, the high will be 63 and the low of 44 with clouds. Thursday will be the warmest of the week with a high of 66 and a low of 45. Friday has a high of 65 and a low of 44. Pretty nice week. Monday and Wednesday there will be morning program, operetta on Tuesday and Thursday. Students will be planting seeds with the student council this week on Thursday and Friday. Students, please keep and clean out your milk containers for your seeds. Up next, we will be talking with some third grade teachers about mini economy. Thank you guys for joining us today. Um, <laughs> we have some questions for you. The first one is, what's your favorite part about doing this project? The mini economies are going to happen on Friday. So that's going to happen this Friday, and it's going... It's going to be a project where the kids come up with an idea that they can either buy, I'm sorry, they can either sell a service or a good. And once they come up with that, then they have to create a product, uh, advertise it, and uh, present it in the right way so that it's appealing to the um, public. They have to decide who their audience is, make posters, and uh, all of this is going to be happening with pretend play money on Friday. And your favorite part? My favorite part is just seeing everything that they created and walking around and seeing the smiles on their, well, I can't really see the smiles. <laughs> so seeing the little slinty eyes, squinty eyes yeah. that we know that they're having a good time. And um, did you enjoy it? Yeah, I had a lot of fun doing it. Um, Was it one of your favorite things to do in third grade? Yes. Oh, good. Um, we've been doing it for a long time. It kind of goes along with our curriculum. I can remember my own personal children doing it, and they're now in college. So um, it is something they definitely remember and a life skill that they can use forever. How did you come up with this idea? Um, we actually, I've just been here like six years, like I said, and uh, my kids have been doing it for a long time. Actually, Mr. Norton used to be their teacher, and they were doing it uh, back then. So it's been something that has followed along with the curriculum and obviously stayed relevant, and the kids enjoy it. So we continue to keep doing it here at Homer Brink. Um, we were worried about the COVID and how that was going to affect our mini economy. So we're going to be very vigilant to wipe things down and make sure everybody stays as far away as they can. But we're very excited to bring some normalcy back to the school yep. and to the kids' lives and in each class. Each class will only pass through and have a very limited amount of time to go through. Um, students will be handling uh, money and products with gloves so that there shouldn't be any COVID issues. And um, what are the students learning from this project? Um, well, first of all, they're learning supply and demand, goods and services, advertising, counting money, counting from a dollar, subtracting from a dollar. Um, they're learning what appeals, um, person, personal skills, social skills from each other, and uh, it gives them a little responsibility in a project and something to look forward to and a, to a goal. Agreed. <laughs> uh, thank you guys for your time. And um, see you on Friday. See you on Friday. <laughs> <laughs>
that's gr that is going to be great. I cannot wait. Lunch for this week will be Monday, Italian oven roasted chicken or stuffed crust pizza. Tuesday, taco salad or chicken patty on a bun. Wednesday, BBQ pulled turkey on a bun or yogurt meal with granola. Thursday, chicken speedy sub or chicken nuggets. Friday, cheese pizza or yogurt with yogurt meal with granola. Hey Peyton, what do elves learn in school? I don't know, what? The alphabet. <laughs> 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 Moving forward, we would love to hear your jokes. It can be featured on HBTV. You can put them in the basket outside the main lobby. There is still one more thing. Remember Spartan Country. Reach, Reach for, for excellence! excellence.